All right. I wanted to talk about uh, what U.S. Cellular has done to me. Uh, this is my phone, cell phone provider. Last April, I went to them after having significant problems with Verizon screwing me over and treating me like shit, and they eventually settled out for um, paying me 800 more than what uh, what um, what was due on my account. Um, Anyway, so they ended up financially compensating me. So I went to U.S. Cellular in uh, uh, Eureka, California, where I was living at the time, um, in that area, and uh, asked the salespeople, people, not person, people, if their uh, service was, because it was on the Verizon network, it was, it was the exact equivalent, if they had national data and voice. Um, and they said that not only it was, but it, that it was, but it would be cheaper to go through them than it was for the Verizon. For Verizon. I made sure to ask them, was there any restrictions on the data plan or the voice plan for nationwide, because nationwide? they didn't seem to me like a nationwide phone company. Um, but they said, nope, we are. And, uh, okay, so I signed up, and I got a phone. I got a, uh, paid $400 for this uh, piece of shit Motorola phone that uh, is run by Google that doesn't work. It never has worked right. I got a uh, replacement uh, policy so that I'm paying an extra five dollars a month in case I break the phone or or drop it, whatever. They replace it for free. Um, I've got uh, tethering, paying twenty-five dollars a month for the right to use my phone for internet, which I already get when I get the phone. I don't understand why I'm paying the extra. I'm paying um, a total of uh, one hundred and twenty dollars a month for four hundred and fifty minutes of nationwide uh, voice and. 10 gigabytes of what I was told was nationwide data. Um, several months after I, uh, you know, a couple of months after I moved out in August, um, I was in Reading and noticed that my phone showed data roaming and that charges may apply. And I called them up and asked them about that. They said, no, no charges. They said, is there any restrictions? Nope, nope. It just says that you're out of your, your home area. And I thought that was curious and didn't think anything of it. And then lo and behold, I found out in November that I am being uh, limited in my uh, use of the internet. So I contacted them. Why am I, you know, what's going on? Why isn't this thing working right? Um, I wrote to them in November because I can't get through their phone system. I'm, I'm disabled. I have problems with that. And it's also very difficult. Their phone system is not very easy to get through. Um, uh, customer relations is almost impossible to get a hold of. Um, so I emailed them because that's easier for me in November. I heard back in February. I was asking them to resolve why I was limited my use of my account, why they ripped me off when I first contacted them, and that I wanted to dispute my account and uh, um, get things these problems resolved. They responded in February. I responded immediately. They have still not responded to that email. Asking, I was asking to dispute my account. I wanted them to repay me for having lied to me. I wanted my account altered to reflect what I was actually getting instead of what I was paying for. Um, I was also told over the phone at one point that, because uh, I wanted to replace my phone because it wasn't working right, they told me I couldn't do that because I was out of my service area. They couldn't mail me a phone because I was out of the service area. But they could sure as hell mail me a check. So, anyway, they every time I try and call them, they hang up on me. I have called customer relations. I finally got them to call me back. They left a message telling me that they're going to waive the disconnect fee. Is all they're going to do. All they're going to do. And they have to do that anyway. It's in the contract if you move out of the service area. Which, of course, according to them. So, you know, these people are ripping me off. They have deliberately set, screwed up my phone so that I cannot use it for internet now. Um, I could barely use use it for checking the news and and sometimes Craigslist on my own computer um, I have to go and use the marina's internet to do anything like email or any or, or upload videos or anything like that so I don't have use of my internet that I'm paying hundred and twenty dollars a month for I can't get any help I've asked for help from numerous people uh, and put out a general plea for help in dealing with a cell phone company I wrote to the California Public Utilities Commission and they told me that by sheer coincidence, the only things they don't deal with with cell phone companies are equipment and data. So U.S. Senator knows this, and they are deliberately fucking with people in this state because they know they can get away with it. So they're up in Arcata and Eureka in Humboldt County lying to people, saying that they can get a phone nationwide, and they go off and leave the area, and you're screwed. 
So you're stuck with a phone you can't use because you can't use, even though it's on the Verizon network, I can't use my phone on Verizon. I wouldn't anyway. So I'm stuck with a $400 phone I can't use. I've been paying $120 a month for 11 months, or for 13 months now, 14 months now, for a phone I can't use. They took money out of my account last month after I called them up and told them not to. I told them I wanted the automatic payment thing turned off. Oh, you have to access through your account. I can't get it through my account online, thank you, because I don't have internet access, thank you. And even at that, when I can get internet through somewhere else, I can't get into my account for whatever reason. <sighs> so they stole from me. They've been stealing me from me. They're ripping me off, and there's not a fucking thing I can do about it. So, would someone please help me with this fucking cell phone company, U.S. Cellular? Be grateful. Thank you.